Hello and welcome to Tete a Tete, France 24's flagship interview show. Our guest today is Zin Mar Ong. She acts as foreign minister in Myanmar's opposition government, known as the National Unity Government, NUG. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, three years after the coup uh, in your country, is the junta about to lose control of the majority of the territory and maybe lose power? Yes, it is. They are losing on the ground and they already lose people's support since our since day one. But gradually in practical control of on the ground is losing each and every day. It is very clear that. How much of the territory do you control? Uh, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, to, to talk uh, exactly, but uh, we estimate that almost are uh, 60% of the, our, uh, the Myanmar territory are under the control of the Ethnic M organization control area and of course plus uh, NUG control area. Altogether, almost 60-70% uh, of the territory are under the control of the Federal Democratic Forces. Right. Uh, would you say that there was indeed a turning point uh, in October uh, when there was an offensive by several of those ethnic armed groups, and uh, they proved very uh, successful. This really turned the tide uh, for uh, your fight? Yes, of course, especially after uh, Operation 1027 uh, last, last year. So it is very clear that uh, one of the evidence uh, that the military is weakened, uh, weakened uh, already weakened, and, and also now the you know the many of the majority of our ethnic um, organizations are joining our revolutionary cause. So yeah, it is quite clear. I agree that and 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 on the ground we are even and setting up our local governance to substitute their their governance system. Right. Uh, are you having reports of uh, army troops surrendering? Do you have figures of how many soldiers? have already surrendered since this offensive? Yeah, it is difficult to identify exact, uh, we have estimated uh, uh, um, numbers, uh, almost uh, 20,000 defenders are already um, in our list, but um, it might be more than that uh, amount because, uh, you know, in, in ethnic uh, resistance control area, they are also each and every day, they defect, and, 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 you know, joining uh, and also the surrender uh, in our uh, fightings and, and battles. So it is more and more uh, the soldiers are surrendering and, of course, some are defects. Right. Uh, what we've seen uh, the junta do uh, in recent days is to bring back uh, mandatory military service, yeah. conscription uh, law. Uh, does this sound like a sign of panic yes. or a sign that they are really willing to fight to the very end? Actually, it is the sign of that they are losing. And also it is a false labor, so, you know, false uh, con conscription laws because they don't have legal and political rights and authority, you know, uh, to, to activate that laws. So and at the same time, what does that show is that they are very much uh, very the most difficult situations in, in order to recruit. A recruitment of the, 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 the army because majority of, of our bombing, majority control areas are originally and previously they are recruitment area. But now these areas are fighting against military hunters. So they are very difficult position now. Right. Um, what has surprised the world, I should say, is that uh, you had your organization link up with those uh, ethnic rebellions uh, that have been there for decades, some dormant, some not so dormant, uh, to coordinate. I mean, is there a unified chain of command? How did you pull this off to coordinate with those groups that do not necessarily work together or get along? Just we are working uh, together uh, on the ground in each and every sector, especially in, in military chain of command. For example, like uh, ethnic M organization control areas, especially uh, ethnic ERO control areas, uh, we have the joint uh, chain of command along with ethnic M organization. But for those Obama majority uh, area, like uh, previously Zagain and Magui region, so uh, we, are, we are trying to set up our uh, military chain of command and code of a contact under the uh, uh, NUG um, Ministry of Defense. So two line of um, chain of command and coordination. 
Right. Uh, what is your goal? Because right now uh, you control mostly territories on the borders uh, of uh, Myanmar. Uh, no major town. Is the uh, goal uh, the capital? Uh, and how soon do you think you will push for it? Uh, I believe that uh, you can see very soon, within a few months, I, I believe that uh, we, uh, we, we means NUG and Ethnic Alliance uh, forces, revolutionary forces, are more and more getting pressure to the uh, capital. So I, I, I believe that you can see uh, within a few months this year. Who provides your weapons? I know uh, you're going to tell me that it's a lot of people mobilization, courage, but it's not enough to fight a war. You need weapons. Who gives you weapons? Yeah, the, the weapons are, so the, there is a motto that uh, the enemy weapons are our weapons. Because now, you know, many of the military hunter are surrender and, and, and our revolutionary forces are also receiving uh, 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 weapons from them. And, but initially it is very homemade. Uh, weapons and um, and of course some uh, ethnic M organizations have uh, their own uh, protections so we, we can get uh, that way. Is the junta reaching out to uh, dialogue or uh, is there no point in dialogue because as you said you're now uh, training your sites on seizing the capital. Yes, this is a pressure. Uh, it is, and what, what what we are doing is that we need to put pressure, Messi Max, the pressure uh, to make uh, internal changes and to transform themselves. If they do not transform themselves, uh, that will be uh, more and more uh, uh, difficulties for our country. So our pressure is not just only military means, but also political means and diplomatic means and economic means. So in this regard, uh, people are... I would like to say that people are more uh, interested in military means, but actually not just military means. We are fighting against indifference means of uh, to, to put pressure to the military junta. Can I read into what you just said that you're hoping uh, that maybe some of uh, the members of the junta will decide that its leaders, uh, Min Aung Liang, uh, is becoming a burden and that they will decide to push him aside and reach out to you. Is that the strategy? Yeah, there is. Uh, there are possible, different possible scenario. It is the one. Of, it is one of the uh, possible scenario. But it is difficult to say. So it is premature that what which scenario is the most likely scenario. I think the scenario you mentioned is that uh, one of the likely scenario. What is the role of uh, China? Uh, uh, many observers noted uh, that the, one of the most successful pushes of the rebellion were in the border area with China and are saying that China actually uh, looked the other way or maybe supported you against the junta. You're smiling. Uh, why? Uh, because this time uh, we have a you know, different uh, era of military coup. But uh, this time, uh, based on my own experience, the China is quite cautious and, and China itself is quite uh, concerned about the main online leadership and this military coup. And this coup is not even reflect and prevent their own interests. So that is why the way uh, Chinese uh, government approach uh, to our affairs this time is quite cautious. And do you have I, contacts with them? Do they tell you, go ahead? No, they don't. <laughs> But you do have contacts with them. Yes, well, from our sides, we do have. Yep. Uh, what about Western uh, support? Uh, I guess you would hope that Western countries would recognize your government as the legitimate government uh, in Myanmar. Clearly, this hasn't happened. Do you think it's time? I don't see yet, but instead of the legitimate government, but, but uh, I think in some extent, some levers of recognition, uh, like the our the legitimate representative of the uh, people of Myanmar. So, for example, like uh, receiving our representative uh, officially in the capital, for example, in Czech Republic. And then last year, I was received by the uh, foreign minister of uh, United Kingdom, officially received uh, as the minister of foreign affairs. So that kind of... And of, a year in a France? Year, yes. 
Here, you... not yet. Uh, we are trying to, but uh, not yet. Uh, but I really appreciate that, the way uh, France Parliament and, and government is supporting in humanitarian grounds. The France Parliament is much more active than France government. Last question. Uh, if you come to power, what's the program? A federal state? That's the only possible solution for Myanmar? Yes, Federal Democratic Union is the only possible way out to Myanmar. So, and the new constitution. So we already have a basic principle which is based on Federal Democracy Charter. That will be ground and basic document for the new constitution. Last question. Uh, you were part of uh, the party of Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, she's obviously uh, now behind bars. Is she part of uh, your uh, movement or because of her association with the military junta, she cannot be one anymore? Actually, she is the leaders of our party and, and leaders of our country as a state councillor. So I do believe that she is with the people and the interests of the people. And so you expect her to play a role in the future? So I do, I do hope. Thank you very much uh, for coming on the Friends 24 set and thank you all for watching this show.